Fart, 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 fart. Uh, uh, did you even test the audio? <laughs> no, I'm looking at it. It looks good. Look, right, I right, got right, it on right. multiple tracks. So I can adjust as need be. Wow. I'm kind of a crazy Weird. motherfucker that way. Yeah. New year, crazy. You know what they say? Uh, new year, cra cra get crazier. More crazy. <laughs> you remember the little guy from um, Quiznos? Uh, the no, the honeycombs <laughs> commercial. Mm hmm. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used him in TKO last time I played. Whoa. That's cool. Do you think there are, like, you know, deviant art, like, <laughs> autists that had, like, their own OCs of, like, whatever he was? <laughs> Honeycomb sodas. <laughs> yeah. We could look that up. No, 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 no. It's it's too early in the podcast for that. Happy New Year, it. everybody. Yeah, wow, I mean, whoa. Um, it's 2021 and no more coronavirus. Hooray. No more. No more it's bad gone. things. It's gone. See you later. 400,000 new deaths by Biden's inauguration. Yeah, right. Yeah, Thank right. You. It's 2021, bitches. Motherfuckers, Mother it's 2021. Bitch, cunts. Year of the worms. Year of the worm. That's true. It's That's true. actually we're gonna, true. We're gonna get our shit together. For all you loyal listeners, it's time. We're gonna become Wait. marketable. You know, uh, you know what? We're already fucking up. We we're should, fucking up. We should go on the worm zone Discord to do this, like we oh, said we yeah. were gonna do two times. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me switch over here. Let me see if I can do something up. Do do something up here. Let's see. New Wait, voice what? channel. The podcast. Uh, what 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 should it be? Corner, annex. Uh, what's I actually don't. I actually don't know what you're doing or what we said. So. <laughs> We do the Giddy. podcast on the Discord so that we can share all the pictures and people can uh, see when we're podcasting. Uh, oh, I help, see. Help me come up with a funny word for the room. What's a funny different uh, type of room? The podcast um, chamber. Uh, oh no! What's uh, what's um um uh, oh gosh um. Did the what was the name of like the the padded room, <laughs> in, like elementary school <laughs> where they would lock like the trouble kids in? I I don't remember what that was called. Yeah, I don't either. It was, it was there though. What's the name of the padded room? Uh, they here's put the, here's the quality content worms and listeners are accustomed to. The rubber room, seclusion room, timeout room, calming room, quiet room, or personal mm. safety room. Uh, none of those really hit the spot. <laughs> mm. I almost like the podcast personal safety room. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You know what? It makes sense. We're sequestered off from the rest of the server. Yeah, sure. There. Create channel. Private channel on. Who can use it? Owner. Only us. Wow. Alright. Okay. Get ready to switch over to the personal safety room. <laughs> and Oh, he's gone. Uh, okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna count down, but you instantly went and it, like, it created an yeah, awkward yeah. moment in the podcast that everybody's gonna wall at now. Yeah, right. I'm I'm already lolling. Wait, so where where are you where where am I posting images into I don't this know. voice? Anyway, we could do it in the meme zone. Upper class uh, wormy chat. Oh, it might make sense to put it in the upper class wormy chat. Yeah. Plus creating incentive would. for our Patreon. True. Okay. Wow, we're dude, this is like a this like is, a business meeting. Yeah, new year, new podcast where nobody gets <laughs> to see anything except yeah. paying customers. Yeah. Well it, it's a chance to see things instead of not seeing them at mm -hmm. all. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We could post uh, in general, though, thus creating this opportunity for everyone. What was the last thing I copied? I'm going to post it again into... Um... Here we go. Me too. <laughs> oh, wait, I know what it is. <laughs> 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 when fine, I dropped right? my mic, it pressed uh, the print screen button. So this is what's <laughs> this is what's on mine. Yo, that's fucking epic, dude. Now we got we got two images of eggs and chips. Eggs and chips. Eggs and chips. That sounds fucking delicious. Actually, it's like oh, a... fish and chips. It's been a long time since I ate a fish. Ooh. I had a couple of filet fish the other day. Fellatio fish. <laughs> I would fellatio fish. Uh, <laughs> Is that the guy? Have I shown you that? There's know. a cool video of a dog where somebody's opening and closing its mouth and uh, the video is fast seen, forward. I've, I've seen that. I've seen it. Okay, going, I've, seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay, I've, I've witnessed it. He goes like... <laughs> yeah, I like that. Now you get it. Now you understand. <laughs> First episode of the year. Dude, it's kind of a banger. If, yeah, I'm, yeah. if I do say so myself. Mm, uh, oh, yeah. 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 Yes. I rewatched House of Cosby's. How was that? It was good. Um, I discovered that the uh, interdimensional cable episodes from Rick and Morty actually were invented in House of Cosby's. They, well, yeah, Rick, an and, Rick and Morty was invented by Rick and Morty. Yeah. The what? classic <laughs> actually funny. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I I almost got you um, uh, a mini Pickle Rick um, <laughs> fun Funko Pop keychain. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was that. You know, you know the general store, right? Um, not really. You've never been to the general I've never store, been but you... there. wow! But you know of it. I've seen it. It's like a really cool, like kind of like attempting to be like a, a more classic um, store. Can I sell uh, you yeah, a, gen a general store and ammunition. It's got, it, yeah, it's got like everything. It's like a hunter store. It's like it's got like an Ace Hardware in it. It's like the everyman store in Spokane and it's a fucking wonderland but um they've recently remodeled and they have like a weird upstairs that's just like mm. full of toys now Funko Pop room. and there's no well n yeah no there there were th these were the only Funko Pops was it's just like a lot of like surplus toys and just like a lot of really like weird like bootleg-esque mm. toys which I love but I don't know. There was one. I was Jenny and I went there, and then we were looking at all the fucking weird ass toys. And there was like, there was just like this one like stand that had a shit ton of pickle Rick pop <laughs> Funko Pop. Oh hell yeah! Keychains. I was like, yo, the altar I of get pickle one of these Rick for Nathan. <laughs> and and Jenny was like, don't do not spend your money on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pickle Rick. Ah, pickle, pickle, pickle. Oh wow, Rick, that's a really hilarious thing to do. I'm pickle Rick. Oh. Uh, but in the toy section there, I did get me some of um, Crazy Aaron's thinking putty. You ever hear Crazy, crazy Aaron? Aaron? Yeah, Crazy Aaron. Isn't that his fucking name, Crazy Aaron? I don't know who Crazy, yeah, crazy Aaron, Aaron is. <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, well, it's just, like, his brand. He makes, like, cool, like, putties. I'm unhinged! It, All I can do is make it. putty! Yeah, he's been making it since, like, the late 90s, but, like, now that, like, kids really like slime and stuff, it's kind of, it's kind of popped up. Kids love popped slime. Popped sorry. Um, and I've always wanted to, I fucking, I don't really like slime, but, like, I like putty. It's a really great like fidget 
fidget toy. You and I are both big fidgeters. You you understand. I guess Am like I I'm doing it right now. I'm playing. I'm playing with my um. Dude, you. I'm playing with chicken. Whenever, whenever we uh, we record stuff like together, like you can't do anything without having something in your hands or mouth. Hmm. I guess that's true. I never thought <laughs> about it. Yeah, dude. I'm always biting on something. Yeah, you have an oral fixation. That's why I love smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, shout out Crazy Aaron's uh, thinking putty. Um, I just realized my door is wide open. My sister can hear our whole annoying podcast, and then if oh, like she God. rips a big fart or something, we'll hear it in the <laughs> podcast. Uh, Oh, That'd be fucking cool. That'd She'd be become, like internet famous. That'd be so funny. Do you get? Do you guys fart around each other? I don't know. I fart. <laughs> My sister has closed the door by herself. See, she always knows what to do. <laughs> she came uh, in, ripped a huge fart, and closed the door. <laughs> uh. Damn, sometimes it do be like that. Your sister has never got a stuck in your washing machine? No, it hasn't happened yet. I'm sure it will eventually, <laughs> though. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Nah, I, I, I love you and your sister's relationship. You guys are really just, like, friends. Yeah. It's so good. It's it's so wholesome. You just hang out. And mostly I'm in my room playing Dark Souls. Yeah. I've been Dark playing Souls a lot of Dark Souls 3. No, why? Huh? What, about, what about Demon Souls? I don't have Demon Souls. Oh, my God. God damn it. What about, um... Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sekiro? Uh, no, I don't have Sekiro. Uh, what about uh, Neo? What about the Matrix? What about the Matrix? I do have the Matrix. Sick. The reason Matrix Time video Out game. There are the Matrix video game, right? Why don't I remember There's a Matrix two Matrix video Matrix, game? No, three Matrix video games. There's a shitty really? one, a good one, and an MMO. Oh my god, I literally did not know about any of those. There's, uh, The Path of Neo, um, I don't know what the other one's called, and Enter the Matrix, I think. Hold on. Is, is, is that, like, a massive multiplayer online video game? Yeah. Is it still running? I want to Probably that. not, there might be a fan server. Enter the uh, Matrix, The Matrix, The Path of Neo, oh, The Matrix Online, Enter the Matrix is... Not the MMO. The Matrix Online is. It came out the Whoa. same year as the Path of Neo, the MMO. Wow. Damn. Maybe they'll bring it back since the Matrix Four is coming out soon. <gasps> They're restarting the Matrix Online. I hope so. Remember, um, remember what was it like? Toon Toon World, Two Town, Toon Town, Toon Town. Did you ever play Toontown? No. You play Club Penguin? No. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only like online game with other players thing I actively partook in was Neopets, so that's all I got. The game was shut down in July of 2009. This doesn't say anything if... There's a fan server or something. Damn. They should How make an app. Play. They should make an app that's old school Matrix Online. The Matrix Online emulator in 2020. We could play it. We could play the Matrix uh, Online. That should be that our next be our... let's play. That, yeah, we need a we need a let's play. Well, let's play the Matrix Online. Okay. You make a cool character and try to get a cool internet GF. Yeah. I'm gonna get my goth hacker GF. Um, we could create a soundboard that's only quotes from the Matrix <gasps> and just <laughs> He's beginning to believe. talk to people using that. <laughs> He's beginning to believe. 
It's the smell. He's beginning to believe. That's the only quote I remember from the Matrix. What? What about not like this? <laughs> That's true. I do say that a lot. Not like yeah. this. I say that all the fucking time. <laughs> uh, there, there's some other ones. I'm, I'm, uh, I can't remember them. But yeah, I don't like want to remember nothing. Yeah, I was trying to think of. I, he has a line about the steak. I can't remember. The Matrix tells me this steak is j soft, juicy, and succulent, or something. Yeah. But I know it's not real. But you could make. I want. I want you. I want to go back in. <laughs> I don't want to remember nothing. Uh, that guy is like piece of shit. Ah, fuck that guy. That guy makes me mad. They should edit him out of the movie. They should. Can't believe they put I mean, such a mean guy in the Matrix. I mean, I would if I was to make like a top ten list of like the most asshole characters <laughs> from like movies from my childhood. He 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 could probably be number one. I don't Just like what? Are, what shit? Just like just what a fucking selfish shitlord, dude. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that guy. He was being really unreasonable. That guy reminds me of, like, Bitcoin bros in real life. <laughs> True. He's like Joey Salads in the Matrix universe. <laughs> you know, it's sad we don't hear much from Joey Salads anymore ever since he got banned from Twitter. Damn. Rest in peace, Joey. Yeah. I don't think he ever won his bid for Congress. We'll always remember when you got pepper sprayed by Justin Roiland. Yeah. <laughs> that is so weird. Because, like, Justin Roiland was probably just like, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> no, I think Justin did, because he, he was a little familiar with mm -hmm. H3 stuff, I think. It's but, I, 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 the, yeah, I don't think saladers. he understood the importance of pepper spraying Joey Salads in the face. <laughs> Uh, that shit was good. Alright, let's get to what everyone wants to talk about. Yes, well, the important thing, the thing that's been on everyone's minds. Bean Dad. Bean Dad. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest drama coming straight to you from the source's mouth. Mm hmm. Um. I, yeah, I don't know. There's this stupid dude, Dad, who. Made his daughter try to open a can of beans, and it took her like six hours. And he got canceled on Twitter for being a shit dad. And apparently, he's made lots of racist tweets yeah. in the past. So. I didn't. I didn't see the whole Bean Dad saga. All I saw was the racist tweets. That's funny. I didn't. I didn't see the tweets at all. But apparently, like he's got some weird connections. Like he has a podcast with Ken James. Oh yeah, I heard that. Which is so weird, because Ken Jennings is, like, one of my favorite fucking dudes in the world. He's so wholesome. Ken Jennings. Well, how do you uh, feel knowing that he fraternizes with a racist? As oh, a he's bean canceled, dad? dude. He's canceled. <laughs> we do not associate with bean dads. Bean dad is canceled. What's, I was trying to make a reference slash joke to the we don't negotiate with terrorists uh, but it didn't really come out we don't negotiate with bean dad yeah there's the title of the podcast got it boom <laughs> yeah Woo! we did it um god would you i mean what i just how do you raise your children that way what, opening bean um, cans? Like, no, being such, <laughs> like, an imposing prick that you think, like, making your child figure out how to use a can opener on their own is, like, a lesson to be learned. Like, just be a nice person and just, like, do it for them. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> you gotta learn to be self-reliant. Yeah, or else you end six. up, like, Nathan yeah. cooking chicken every mm. night. No, I it's still doesn't know how to open a can. <laughs> I know, I know how to open a can. <laughs> All right. 
I've seen Nathan open a can. So true. Can do you? Do you? I don't need a bean dad to tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Except for when you need when you need to take your butt plug out. <laughs> yeah. I only take out my butt plug for being dead. What do you think is the world record for the longest time someone's had a butt plug in? I don't know. Do you think Probably that's been... months? Ah, that's... No. Somebody I mean... probably forgot their butt plug up there. Wait, no, you have to poop eventually. You, you, you would find yeah, out. You're a fucking idiot. You would find out when you poop. Butt plug... I typed in butt pug. Butt plug world record. You'd have to do it on purpose by making, like, a specialized butt plug that lets you poop through it. Um... The butt plug has a poop sieve. Annabelle Dangle, extreme giant plug in ass, world record anal. Uh, is that just the world record for biggest um, butt plug? Because that world record of the biggest butt plug inserted Yo, here. Not, I don't give a shit about that. That's stupid. New world record anal inflatable homemade butt plug night. World record inflatable butt plug uh, videos. Free porn videos. Guinness World Record anal butt plug porn tube dash watch. I don't think the this is the information I'm. Yeah, these for. guys aren't giving very accurate information. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think this is working out. I don't really feel like clicking on any of these. You know, sometimes it's just exhausting. You know. Okay, fine. I'll click on one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what's up with Annabelle Dangle. <laughs> Annabelle uh, Dangle. Dingle Dangle. I mean, I mean, is this a world record? I don't know. Ugh, I don't want to watch porn right now. No, <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Trying to, I'm trying to watch. I, I'm trying to cut out porn for the new year. You know. No more porn. We only. Um, Jack off to her thoughts. Yeah, this is a Christian household. Yeah, I don't know about you. No you more jerking off. Of no more hey, sex. I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm personally, I'm just, I'm just sick of porn. You know, I think I've had that sentiment, and I've talked about it before. It's just like I don't know, kind of, kind of sick of porn. Yeah, I actually am kind of like. I don't know. I can never find any porn that's very appealing to me at all. Yeah, I feel like we we just got cum brain, dude. Cum brain. You gotta... Cum brain! It's like there's a fine line from, like, not finding, like, porn that, like, works for you anymore, and then just, like, having to watch, like, the most degenerate, horrible shit to get off, you know? <laughs> hmm. Next I... thing you know, like, <laughs> you can only jack off to Japanese newscaster Bukaki. I never, I never got there. If anything, I've receded into more and more softcore as oh. my life goes on. Now when I see, like, two people fucking, I'm just like, this is kind of gross. I don't, <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah. Well, yeah, I hear I you. I just like... want to, like, see a girl giving me the fuck me eyes. I... <laughs> See, that's that. I I completely agree. <laughs> I think, yeah. As as I've as I've matured, I would much rather yeah just see like single girl doing doing her own thing. Like that's cool. But then sometimes Japanese uh, newscaster <laughs> Bukaki just for just yeah. for a fun little every fap, once you know? in a while. Yeah. Yeah. A cheeky Mix little fap. Uh, yeah, cheeky little oh fap. Oh my god. Are you actually what? What do you, what do you think about New Year's? Um, I don't. I don't really care about New Year's. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think you really yeah. did. If I had I, more money, I would have gotten drunk when I streamed, but yeah, I didn't have money, so I just streamed normal. Yeah, I I like the idea of New Year's as a holiday for two reasons. First of all, I love getting fucked up. We know what? that. Um. But then I don't know. I, I I like I like the idea of new starts. I I think it's it's dumb 
that so many people rely on like the new year to be like your jumping off point. Like I, I, I say this all the time. You, you can start a new year whenever you fucking want, you know? True. But um, I, I, I like the idea. I think, I think it's, I think it's better than like a lot of holidays that are like based around like religion or like the, I mean, or like old pagan, you know, time of the year things. Like the new year is just like, oh, it's the fucking new year. Sure. New year is um, kind of like the most pagan of all. That's like the I thing so. in every culture has celebrated since they were throwing shit and sticks at each other. Yeah, but but like our our calendar system is based on like the Romans, right? Yeah. Yeah, and like yeah, cuz like the Japanese and Chinese like their new year starts at like different times. So it's like who, who fucking cares? Yeah, who <laughs> you know? cares about them? <laughs> Fuck them. Well, that's not what I meant. But <laughs> <either>. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I like I like the idea of new starts, but I mean, so many people I I think in modern stupid normie society like feel so pressured to like you know get resolutions around New Year's and then like inevitably don't follow through way. because most yeah. people's brains just aren't wired correctly to follow through on things like that you mm -hmm. know but um i don't know i like to try and try and think positively about the new year and try to focus on some things you know i've been streaming a lot more but that's not a new year's resolution i just started doing that before the new year and now i'm still doing it good for you <laughs> i'm being a big big boy streamer yeah, and lots of the things, like, right now I say, like, I want to do for the new year are literally just because I stopped working nights and mm. I can, like, be a human again, for real. Human played, time, I, baby! I played guitar for, like, the first time in two months today, and that was really nice. Um, I just want to, like, eat, eat well again, because I just was, like, not eating well during nights. It was just, like snacks all the time and no like real meals so mm -hmm. get away from that and i just want to try to spend less time just uh what's doom scrolling isn't that what people say yeah and you're just like yeah <laughs> i need to get away from that <laughs> see i don't I'm doom like... scroll because like about like one percent of my twitter follows are people who like bring up serious stuff and then everybody else is just like Far to penis. <laughs> well, I follow like fucking like over a thousand people on Twitter now, so I mean I can keep going for like a while. I wonder how many people I'm following. Let me look. Um, Take your bets now, everybody. The answer is sixty-nine. Two hundred ninety-six. Wow. Um. I also, I also really want to get out of the habit of just, like, uh, I always just, like, stare, like, refresh and look at, like, my subscription videos mm. uh, on YouTube and, like, I never really watch anything. And, like, I just need to, like, throw on movies instead of just, like, cycling through stupid YouTube videos that I don't care about, you know? Yeah. I really, I want to watch more movies, but I never do it. I know. I have man. so many movies that I never watch. Mm. I love oh, movies. I, also, I love movies too. We have that in common. Wow. Interesting. That's Who fucking crazy. Who would have thought best friends have things in common? Ah! Uh, I also want to get a shit ton of tattoos this year. I Ooh. literally have not gotten tattoos since I moved back home, which was like five years ago now. It's like, dude, I need tattoos. I wish I could get and a I tattoo. Really, I really want to support tattoo artists in, in this time. So I feel like people aren't really getting tattoos. And they shouldn't be getting tattoos, I guess, because you're going outside. But, like, tattoo shops are, like, one of the inherently, like, most sanitary, like, public spaces. So it's, like... We have to preserve really our no sanitary worry. spaces. Yeah. Unlike Nathan's Cheeto dust-covered room. True. I'm always eating Cheetos in here. 
Dude, I was in the checkout line at Target and I saw these talkies that are blue. Blue talkies? Blue talkies. Blue talkies? Blue talkies. Let me look up blue talkies. <laughs> Let me look up a blue waffle real quick. <laughs> I found this thing <laughs> called a blue waffle? Whoa, you guys should check it out. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Blue oh, what yeah. is this picture of blue Takis? What the fuck? Hold on. Know. You gotta see this. Is this what, the, is this what the blue Takis looked this. like? <laughs> yeah, that's what blue Takis look like. <laughs> blue Taki, blue cocky. Get it? You gotta uh, see this, this image I just found on Twitter. I love this. Oh, my file's too powerful. Never mind. Too powerful. It, uh, you have to convert it to a JPEG. I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> Are yours. But someone made a, a, a centipede out of bread. It's very good Let me type in bread centipede next. Bread uh, centipede. Uh, I also I bread really want to start... I really want to start making bread. I saw you say that on Twitter. Yeah. Is this the bread centipede? You probably found the bread centipede. I mean, how many bread centipedes are here? There's that a couple. It's so much shittier than the bread centipede <laughs> I found. What about what about this bread centipede? <laughs> so, no, no, that's not a. That looks like a fucking like. Those are like the things that take over the Federation in season one of Star Trek The Next Generation. You know, that's exactly what I was thinking of. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, damn. I found a picture of a centipede eating a rat. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I just These are just real centipedes now. Oh. Dude, my, when my dad was stationed in Puerto Rico because he was in the Marines... Um, he, he told me this story about, well, they have, like, the giant centipedes there, and, like, he was in, like, that one is so bad, too. Um, there was, like, he was, like, doing laundry in, like, the basement he was at or something, and there was a giant centipede, and it scared the shit out of him, and he, like, tried, like, killing it with, like, a chair and, like, smashing the chair on it, and it, like, took so long to kill it because oh, it was no. so big. I'm just like, that's cool. I, you know, I just... I wouldn't kill it, you know? <laughs> it's like, dude, you're a Marine. You're scared of a fucking bug. Okay, now that's an epic image. Bread centipede. It's a gingerbread centip human centipede. Uh... <laughs> we should watch the human centipede. I don't really want to. <laughs> Me either. I've seen clips. It's not that great. Giant centipede, giant centipede. Giant centipede. I love centipedes. At my old apartment was like overrun with house centipedes, which are a very different looking, cool kind of centipede. I don't even know if they're, well, I mean, they gotta be related to centipedes, but I mean, they don't look like a centipede, except for they just have a shit ton of a legs. A whole different centipede. Yeah. But, um,. That's a cool image. It's a centipede. Uh, but Jenny was was is very frightened by house centipedes, and if she found one, she would kill it, which is sad because they're actually really good bugs. They they eat like silverfish and other bugs that are not good for you to live with because they eat all your shit. But centi house centipedes like to eat those guys, so they're good to keep around. But Jenny would like. It's, it was, like, on site. She would smash the shit out of them. And they'd always get stuck in our sink. And then she would just, like, flush them down the drain. And bye. it would just make me so sad. Bye, bye. But, but, so, so if I was home and she's like, Garrett, there's a house centipede. I had, I had a special cup that I would just go scoop up the house centipede in. And she would be, like, freaking out. Like, oh, did you get it? And I'm just, like, calmly, like, handling this house centipede. And then she's like, like, okay, you gotta take it out tonight. You gotta take it far away, and I would literally just like dump it out the front door <laughs> and say like, "Yep, it's gone." <laughs> That's how they keep getting back in. 
I know. <laughs> I want to have one of these bad boys. Here it comes. The last thing you saw, the centipede man. I want to. I want to have one of these these guys. Oh, those millipedes, African millipedes. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's like what I missed about. Easy pets to have. They just eat shit and poop. Yep. You just like make really... their dirt wet, and then they're good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really miss going for hikes over in the Olympia area because there were native, smaller millipede species, and you'd always see them along trails and little millipede. pick them up, little buddies. Little millipede buddy. Whew, that was a segue. The famous centipede segue. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I actually don't even know where that conversation chain started. We were talking uh, about resolutions. Enter the Matrix. <laughs> we're talking about the Matrix? That's a cool chain. Um. So, yeah, do you have any New Year's resolutions, Nathan? Uh, not really. Get laid? Yeah, get laid, get money, uh, uh, be a badass. Dude, you're already a badass to me. Oh, hell yeah. I got you. Hell yeah. Uh, I talked to our friend Scout on the phone yesterday, and I asked him to be a guest on the podcast, and he said he'd be down. Damn. It's been a long time since I've heard head or tail of that fellow yeah he's, he's doing all right we'll find all all about it when we have him on the podcast <laughs> podcast podcast um how about you listeners do you have any new year's resolutions yes <laughs> wow that's so cool <laughs> leave your comments below what do you think about Mr. Beast's uh, YouTube Rewind? Uh, I saw, like, part of it. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't I don't care, care about either. Mr. Beast. I, I really don't either. Unless he gives me money, then Today I care about Today we're Beast. hiding $3,000 in this park, and whoever finds it gets to keep it. Uh, okay. Today... I put $3,000 in this bread centipede, and whoever eats th to the money first gets to keep the money. Well, I'm sold. Today, I am giving $3,000 to this guy. Wow. I, you sound bitter. <laughs> I want three thousand dollars. Me too. Speaking of three thousand yep. dollars, um, like okay. fucking uh, <laughs> so there was a news article that said like that the the headline just was the richest people, uh, in America made one point eight trillion dollars in twenty twenty. So I mm -hmm. did the math. And we could have had six hundred dollars a month for nine months with just the money that trillionaires added to their <laughs> money this year or last year. Ugh, damn, it really do be like that. Uh, you know, it was really funny seeing the headlines. Um, you know, after Trump made the public display of wanting or being okay with the $2,000, you know? Mm. Um, then then there were headlines that said, uh, Bernie Sanders sides with Trump on $2,000 <laughs> as, like, Bernie Sanders sides with Trump. I... That that's not that's not how it works. <laughs> see, see, Bernie Sanders is right wing somehow. Actually, see. Yeah, yeah. I, I just thought that was really funny. God, Mitch McConnell really is a piece of shit, isn't he? Bitch McConnell, more like. He is a bitch. Like, Somebody literally, has no moral standing throw whatsoever. Throw him in the ocean. You should. I mean, I just throwing him isn't enough. Like, 
throw him throw him into the uh, international waters where Somalian pirates can kidnap him. Nice. This is this is uh, Are there still Somalian pirates around? That was like a big thing in the news for a while, but I haven't heard anything yeah, about Yeah, they made a Somalian. movie about it with Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> we we love the Somalian pirates so much we made a movie about them. I mean, they're they've got to still be around. Yeah, whatever. Whatever happened to those pirates? I don't know. Let's get a Somalian pirate on the podcast. Yo, that would be cool. It would be like that episode of the official podcast where they talk to uh, 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 John McAfee. <laughs> what is his deal? I forget what his deal is. He's basically a Somalian pirate at this point. He's just like cruising around in international waters evading the law. That's fucking sick, dude. Last I heard was from the official podcast, he was, like, living in some foreign country, and there was rumors that he murdered his neighbor or something. I'm roaming around my apartment avoiding the law. Oh, hell yeah. My apartment's kind of like international waters. There's a bunch of cops in your house looking for you. <laughs> yeah. You keep hiding <laughs> from them. You can't find me, huh? Get away, you silly cops. Silly did, you, cops. Did, did, did you see the footage of, like, fucking Proud Boys and shitheads were, like, and, uh, protesting in Salem, Oregon? And, um, like, I heard just people talking about Proud Boys. Yeah, they're always talking about Proud Boys. But um, the cops turned against them. I'm using air quotes right there. Um uh, because they were like not, you know, behaving and doing doing well, and like the cops started like firing tear gas and mm. shit at the Proud Boy gatherings, mm. while the Proud Guys, Proud Boys, are like yelling like "fuck Antifa" and like you know all that classic mm. shit, and they're like because there's like Antifa people there, and uh, but the cops are are turning on the Proud Boys, and so like after the night, they're like. <laughs> they like take their fucking blue stripe flag and like are walking on it and say, "Yeah, back the blue. Yeah, no more fucking commie police." And just like turn on the cops, just like so like instantaneously. Like uh, it's we were it's, okay it's, it's, with cops firing tear gas at other people, but when it starts yeah. happening to us, now you've got a problem. <laughs> Just again, no no moral standings whatsoever. Yeah. Just whatever benefits them. That's that's all. That's all it is. It, 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 it's really uh, if you can find the footage, it, it, it's 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 a it, it's insane to watch, especially like the chant them chanting like fuck Antifa, and then they start chanting like a cab, and I'm just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's so bizarre. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the Proud Boys should not be legal. Like, they. No. Because, like, their leaders literally advocate violence. Yeah. Like, no, that, that should not should be, be legal. Yeah, they should be designated, like, a hateful organization. Like, I don't know the logistics of that. Like, because even, like, fucking. I see, like, Juggalos are, like labeled as like a violent gang or whatever what? and it's like come on when's the last time a juggalo hurt anybody probably never god i fucking love juggalos they're just a dude. clown gang they're just hanging I, out the clown boys it, is, it has long been a dream of mine to go to the gathering of the juggalos <laughs> drinking like, that some just fago. sounds like I mean, compared to, like, any other fucking American, like, gathering of, like, freaks, like, <laughs> give me the option to go to, like, fucking Burning Man 
or Gavin or the Jugglers, like, fuck Burning Man. <laughs> fuck everything about Burning Man. Fuck all those fucking hippies making fucking <laughs> giant robot cars. No one gives a fuck. I want to go fucking get sprayed with Fago, dude. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that shit is so fucking cool. Shout out all the Juggalos. Shout out. This is the Juggalo episode. Dude, every episode <laughs> is a Juggalo episode. All right, all right. <laughs> Uh, did you see uh, Donald Trump got recorded on a phone call to Georgia's Secretary of State basically asking him to like illegally like change the count of votes I saw that headline but <laughs> yeah. I did not like, read that's literally like a jailable offense like yeah. Yeah, it's so absurd and also literally what the right wing was accusing uh, Biden of doing. I know. I know. Oh, I used to remember the name of that prehistoric giant centipede. What is it? Megala something. Big Dave. Big Dave. That's Big Dave, all right. They don't make them like Big Dave anymore. <laughs> True. The centipedes got way shittier. Yeah. Well, as the oxygen level decreased in our atmosphere, arthropods could not support such a large exoskeleton. Damn. Thus, we are left with tiny little boys. Tiny little bitches. Yeah. Damn, Damn I miss megafauna. Bitches. Yeah, I remember when we used to have megafauna around. Yeah. Like, uh, your mom! <laughs> Hey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hmm. Well, what's what what uh, what's what? And uh, did anything crazy happen? Is there any crazy topics? We were talking about all the crazy topics. Yeah, uh, I guess I guess we're out of crazy. Uh, what's the trapped guy doing? Has he done anything more? I don't know. He's probably just supporting pedophiles more. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Ooh, here's something on trending. Hashtag dream sharded. <laughs> how, come, how come trending now is just literally everything dream does is trending? I literally didn't know who dream was until like a week ago. Dream so. ate a banana on stream. What the fuck? Oh, no. He ate a freaking he... banana? Banana. <laughs> dream uh, sharded. Dream sharded. Yeah, I don't I don't care about dream. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get dream sharded trending. They did it. Wow, you're so funny. You're so funky. You're so crazy. Wow. Let's get Nathan Puta trending. Come on, yeah, guys, come we on. can do it. Come on, guys, let's get it going. Oh, I can search near me. All right, who's near me that shared Dream Sharded? Oh, nobody. Okay, good. Good <laughs> it, job, Stokane. It shows me. It shows <laughs> yeah. me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Garrett. Garrett is fucking cancelled. Nobody I follow shared Dream Sharded either. Nice. Damn. That's like two, 290 online. people who don't care about Dream Sharding. I didn't even think that would be possible, but it's true. Uh, MF Doom died? That's true. I never listened to him or knew anything about him. But I know who he, I know his name. Yeah, I listened to him a bit in high school. I had a phase in high school where I was like really into like more underground hip hop. Um, Pip pop. It it faded pretty fast, mm. and I don't really remember anything about like the artists I listened to. But MF Doom is cool. Um, he was uh, he was on a song on um, Gorilla's Demon Days. Oh, you know November has come. November has come. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> no. All right, I, I can't remember. I thought no. I like about like 
ten percent of Gorilla's songs. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. But yeah, you know, rest in peace, MF Doom, Metal rest Face in peace, Doom. King. Doctor Professor Doom. Professor Doom. It's the bottom of the show where we derail hmm. into insanity. I've got um I've got bad news. There's ten minutes left we have to fill. <laughs> oh my god. I, this is That's a crazy the... episode. This is the worst news I've ever heard. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Has anything crazy happened in the world of Nathan? Did a e celeb like a tweet or something? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, did you, have you gotten raided in a while? I did get a raid. I got a, I got a Selma raid while I was playing yeah. Jackbox, and then a bunch of people put the N-word in, and I had to oh, delete yeah. the VOD. That's hilarious. Yeah. I wish I was present for that. Yeah, that would have been nice to have a mod present to ban people. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I had to do it myself. <laughs> uh... I joke about things, but, like, dude, if you're, like, actually, like, coming to some, my boy's stream and are saying the N-word, like, you're out of there. You're buddy. out of there. Mm. I really like all the, um, uh, I, I, I tweeted this, too. I, I, I love all the content I'm getting since it's the year of the bull. So many Twitter artists are just like drawing pictures of really sexy cowgirls. Sexy cowgirls. Not I've only, like I've only seen one cowgirl so far. I've seen a lot of cowgirls, but You've not like cowgirls, like the opposite of a cow, opposite of a cowboy. That female, male are not inherently <laughs> opposite. Anyways, um, uh, but like girls that have cow features, they got big boobies and horns oh, right. and. I just found some cowgirl content while we're talking. Yo. This is um this is a sexy cow outfit you can have as a cowgirl. Here, hold on, let me let me send that your way. Okay. And we got some cowgirl attire. Oh uh, yeah, you should get that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear that. <laughs> Subscribe to our Patreon to see the thing that I'm going to wear. <laughs> I just typed in uh, cowgirl onto Twitter to get a bunch of but get all these sexy cowgirls. All these voluptuous cow ladies. I love I love the dog of Oni Place. <laughs> the dog of okay. a, what? Chris Christopher O'Neill and Veronica have a very silly dog. Uh -huh. Let me show you how goofy this dog is. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I it's hate so those weird. Dogs, it's one of those dude. chihuahuas that like has no teeth because it's old or got yeah. its teeth removed or something. And so like it just has a weird droopy mouth. <laughs> I hate chihuahuas. Dude. I mean, I, I like all dogs, but like chihuahuas are stupid dude yeah i i really don't like a lot of small dogs they're all they're, they're a bunch of little bitches <laughs> remember this oh hell yeah big boobies <laughs> big boobies. mega milk mega milk mega milk. <laughs> mega milk do bigger boobs have more milk is that how it works um i don't know that's like a weird internet thing i i mean it's a dumb like zoomer sexy thing with like zoomers really love big titties and saying like big mommy milkies big mommy know? milkies <laughs> <laughs> i want big mommy milkies <laughs> um i don't know um uh, uh an ana anatomically real real life e 
I mean, I think if you have bigger boobs, like, then your, like, milk glands or whatever probably take up more room and you can, I mean, that, that just milk. means your body has, like, more fat on it and can convert more energy into making milk, so. I'm a milk well, that's machine. Why I, I'm a milk machine. Well, that's why girls, like, get bigger boobies, like, when they're pregnant so they can mm. produce more milk. Better milk. Yeah. Better boobies, Papa John's. What do you think about, like, milk as, like, a fetish? I don't like it. <laughs> if I see milk, I'm out of there. I don't want any milk. Like, being squirted from the nips? Nah, no milk. Why not? It's gross. I don't want leaky milk. Do you like a creamy pussy? I don't I don't really care about uh <laughs> what's I'm just saying if you on. have like an aversion to to liquids. Mm, I guess I guess kind of. I don't know. Yeah. Milk is just extra gross. I don't know. I think it's I think it can be kind of sexy. Get some dude, get some big old titties with sloppy milk and the girl's like sucking our own nipples and then she's sucking milk out and it dribbles Ugh. down her face no Dude, that shit's kind no, of... no 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 milky um, no milky you're kind of dude you're kind of gay <laughs> <laughs> no milk no milk allowed what if, what if a big buff muscular man with like huge pectoral muscles is squeezing milk out of his nipples no <laughs> <laughs> No milky. Uh, what if you type in man? No, I'm not going to type milk. in man. Milk. Yeah, that's just cum. You're just going to get cum. Yeah. Uh, but cums, would you rather see uh, cum on, on some boobies or milk on some boobies? Definitely cum. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I would much rather see cum than milk. <laughs> see, I don't like... I don't get it. Like, seeing see cum is, like, hot, but then, like, when I when I think about cum in, like, real life, I'm like, ugh. You know? I don't I don't mm. understand. Like, yeah. seeing a woman dressed, uh, dress, drenched in, like, cum is like, wow, that's really so sexy and so cum. degenerate. But then it's just like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not particularly jazzed about seeing cum either. Yeah. Like, I yeah. don't know, I guess it's kind of nice is like sort of a uh, uh, put a cap on the end of the tail, but like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't, uh, <laughs> it's not like I'm dying to see the cum, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dying to see the cum. Okay, what's, <laughs> what's you never this? You've never seen this? <laughs> Media could not be played. Damn. No! <laughs> I'll never see it now. Um, uh, media can't be played. Hold on, can I find it? Oh, you can probably just I found if you it. type okay, in hold on. "fuck it Sunday." Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah, you said I've it. seen that. Fuck, it's the Sunday. hot hot bimbo saying "fuck, Fuck it's Sunday." It's Sunday. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> it's Sunday. It's a Sunday. Sunday. Fuck, it's a Sunday. Fuck. Remember it's the episode Sunday. of the Worm Zone podcast where they just said, Fuck, it's a Sunday until the end of it the was, podcast. Yes, it was episode 39, the episode first episode 39. of 2021, and Fuck, it's my favorite it's episode. It's a Sunday. What day is it even? Is it Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday. It's Sunday? Fuck, it's a Sunday. <laughs> That's why I posted it. <laughs> Fuck, it's a Sunday. <laughs> Uh, episode titled um, "We Do Not Negotiate with Bean Dads" was my favorite episode. It's my favorite episode ever. Um, well, I mean, we're we squeezed out the time. Do we got any follow? Any anything else we we, we want to say before we wrap this up? We're kind of um. I'm excited for the new year as mm -hmm. as uh, as scary as um 
the world still is right now and coronavirus is not under control by any means. <laughs> I had a dream about coronavirus last night. It's still oh, real. Shit. You know, that's a, that's a side effect some people get. Coronavirus haunts their dreams. Oh. <laughs> uh, and you know what the second step of that uh, that, that symptom is? What? Flaccid pee-pee. No! <laughs> uh, and you start leaking milk from your nipples. <laughs> no! <laughs> Anything uh, but that! Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to start off a full new year full of Worm Zone content. Um, it's going to be our uh, biggest year yet. Our biggest year yet, you know, stay stay strapped in, buckle up, uh, subscribe to our Patreon, come on to our Discord. We're gonna we're gonna keep brainstorming how to be better boys on the internet. Come we're on and slam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. And um as soon as we're vaccinated, we're gonna go out and sing karaoke and we're gonna we're live gonna stream it. It's fuck. gonna be epic. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make a worm zone twitch twitch channel uh, it's, uh, for live singing karaoke and it's gonna be DM, DMCA striked and so every time we'll we'll take it down and we'll come up with a new email address yeah, or a new twitch account we'll name it worm zone one two three you know get it some, yeah. some squints yeah it'll be pretty cool uh. all right uh, uh, thanks for hanging around wormies bye, we bye. love you. Bye bye. Oh wait, also, did oh. you see our, our our Christmas episode got like two hundred plays on SoundCloud because we said featuring Belle Delphine? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Do we get any so, followers though? No. God. Well, damn we might got like a bot, dude. We. I can't believe there's not there hasn't been like a YouTube essay on like how fucked SoundCloud is now. Because so many people use it, and it's such a shit website overrun with bots. I just don't understand. Yeah, it is. It is trash. It's fucking it is trash, trash, except for the fact that you can create an RSS feed from it that yeah. allows you to automatically upload to four different websites. Yeah, that shit's pretty epic. That's poggers. Yeah. All right, well, I think this is a good night and goodbye, friends. See you next time. <laughs> yeah.